and invite Paul Huffman and Doug Ray to come and share a little news about our bicentennial. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a land known as Vincennes, there lived a preacher named John M. Dickey. He loved to preach. He preached seven days a week. In the summer of 1824, he took his one horse, put his wife on the horse, and he walked in front of it. And they came to Johnson County and Bartholomew County and Shelby County. First, he started a Presbyterian church in Franklin. And there weren't enough people to preach to, so he walked to Columbus. And in July of 1824, this man with a passion for God started this church. He then went to Shelbyville and started a church. One of his 11 children would go on to be one of the first full-time pastors of this church. So he left a legacy. With the same fervor that Reverend Dickey walked around central Indiana and started Presbyterian churches, let's celebrate that this is our 200th year. We're going to have a year full of celebrations and joy. We were told to keep it brief. <laughs> yeah. I warned them what would happen if they put both Doug and myself behind a microphone at the same time. So they were warned. I'll try to keep this brief. So as Doug mentioned, July 3rd, 1824, uh, the congregation of 17 people met in a tavern on the south side of the public square. Uh, so first Presbyterian was born in a tavern. Um, 50 years later, they moved into this building. It wasn't quite ready at the time, so their first service was in the laws room back behind the pipe organ here. Uh, the steeple was just a, a skeleton at that point. Um, these are just a couple of the hundreds of awesome, inspirational, and interesting stories um, that arise out of First Presbyterian over the last 200 years. We don't have time enough to go through anywhere near of any of these, uh, so we decided we'd put them all in a book, which we are now working on, is we have hired a professional writer, we've hired a professional publisher, we've hired a professional editor, <laughs> we have hired a professional researcher. It's me. Um, <laughs> so we've already started doing a lot of the research. There's all sorts out there. Uh, one, of the, one of the items that I, I picked up first, thank goodness we found this, it's a copy of a book they put out with the history from the 175th anniversary in 1999. So using this as a guideline and getting onto newspapers.com and doing uh, a lot of uh, interviews with a lot of people who have been here. I just I told Philippe I talked to three people last week whose combined ages added up to 280 and they are sharp as a tack, and I got some great information. So we will be looking at uh, publishing this book and having it available sometime this summer for purchase. There will be information in the bulletins and in your emails as we progress through this. And we're just looking forward so much to presenting the 200 years of this church and where we're headed. Thank you. And pay attention, pay attention um, as the year passes. The little easels in the windows will have moments in history for you to read about. 